What it do, what it does, what it be like, people, you already know who it is. This is your boy, DJ Baby Boy, and yes, I'm in here with the boy, D. Scott, with three T's, man. Yeah. Salute the grind, episode number two. Introduce yourself to the people, brother. Let them know what you do. What up, family? This your boy, D. Scott. Um, Phil is the brand owner, uh, gospel hip-hop artist, also pastor, senior pastor, Mount Pleasant Travel Rest, CME Church in Montezuma, Georgia. Uh, shout out to I'm um, a U2DK alumni. So we <laughs> in the building and thankful for the opportunity to just chat with my brother, uh, DJ Baby Boy. That's what's up, man, for sure. Y'all hear everything this man is doing right now, man? Listen, pastor, recording artist, apparel design owner, he got a lot going on, brothers and sisters. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Bro, how you, this is kind of off the script, man, but how do you balance all of that, bro? Man, I'm going to be honest. It, it, it's, it's challenging, but hey, uh, why not me? Um, I, I just believe that um, when you're built for something, you can kind of handle whatever comes your way. So um, just being a, a husband, a pastor, a um, recording artist, and a pearl owner, um, it does get busy, but you do have to find that time to just try to find a balance. And um, I still haven't mastered that balance yet, but, you know, we working on it. We working on it. Hey, that, that's what it is, man. Really, that experience, bro. Uh, going through it, you learning exactly how to balance. You know what I'm talking about? So you have yeah. to go through that experience in order to master that balance part. You know what I mean? So it's just like, like uh, it's funny that uh, you even mentioned that because we were speaking of some stuff like that in church today. And we were speaking about that, man. It was just like, you have to go through that fire, you know what I mean, yeah. in order to get prepared for that next level that God is taking you to, man. That's right. So that's right. So that's cool that that just linked up like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So far as the artist name, man, explain to the to the people out there um, why you chose to name yourself D Scott with three T's. Okay. Um, most people um, that do remember, I was uh, E Rubble um, mm -hmm. with the E to the K imprint. Um, with the D Scott, with the name change, um, I wanted to be personable and I wanted to be uh, what I represent now. Um, D Scott with the three T's uh, simplifies um, one for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So when you look at it, um, the three T's, three crosses, um, that's you know who I represent. That's who I do it for. So every time you see that name, you know I'm a representative of Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Salute, salute, salute. I didn't even I didn't even get to get that out of the first interview that we were trying to do, man. And it's it's yeah. cool, man. That, that's that's what's yeah. up, bro. That works yeah. out perfect, man. So yeah. explain. I know you, you about the about being an artist and and exactly how you represent yourself with the D Scott name. Explain about your your new project that you dropped, Faith Over Fear Devotional Volume One, the priest yeah. and the producer. How did this come yeah. about? And just tell the people about it, man. All right. So um, before the priest and the producer. Um, I did three songs that I kind of released just to kind of get a feel for um, where I was musically since I haven't really recorded a song in God knows when. Um, so I'll kind of put those out as just to kind of get my get my feet wet. Um, I was actually in um, Cincinnati, Ohio at our um, church's general conference. And I was sitting in a session and um, out of the blue, I just had this thought um, of just doing like different projects, um, kind of like featuring a producer. Um, and I said, you know what? Let's scratch what I had originally because what I had originally was just going to be an actual album. I'm just gonna come out straight out the gate with an album. I already kind of had the beats, the 
music I already kind of had the song and I said you know what let's scratch that and I said I'm just gonna do the faith over fear uh volume one the priest and the producer um devotional and it came about I was sitting there I was talking with uh Keith Tess the Clay experience y'all need some uh good studio y'all check them out uh right there on Adeline Street in Hattiesburg go holler at them but uh for sure for sure I chopped it up with him and he was like you know what I'm down so when I got back from Cincinnati next thing I know I started getting emails and it had books and I was like okay this 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 thing is getting serious so I began to like carve out Oh, because by the way, I do work for an insurance company and it is very demanding. So I had to carve out some time from work and I said, baby, I need to go to Mississippi for X amount of days and I need to lay down um, these songs. And he told, Keith told me, he said, you know, I'm going to do this project with one condition. And the condition was that I come and record. I was okay. like, it's like, mm, okay, okay. So I, I, I made up my mind and said, okay, we're gonna go and do it. Um, and what what stemmed from that project was um, the different songs, just the cohesiveness of the project. When I listened to it before, I sent it off to be. Um, uh, distro kid to to distribute. I sit there and I listen to each individual song in the order that I put them, and it just seems like each song just kind of it it is like a big vivid picture. Um, mm. and that's kind of where I wanted the the project to go is that um that you get a project that's that's holy enough that you can recognize God all over the project but still have a sound that can still reach those who are in the streets and I think I think I I ain't gonna say I think I I know that's what we accomplished um, with that project is because of um some of the songs as we were recording them they they became much larger than um what we intended um and it's not because of like sales or or pushing the project the songs give you a, a feeling mm-hmm. and um that i was telling them um I was uh, recording uh, Love Is I had to stop because I started getting teary because Mm -hmm. um, it was just something that while I was writing that song it was something that I felt but when I recorded it it was something much different and I said well God I know that's you in the plan because if, if this song makes me feel this way I pray it makes someone else feel the same way or even better. So that's why I called it a devotional because I don't want you to just listen to it one time. I want you to go back and listen to it over and over and over and let it bless you. That's what's up, man. That's a dope project for that, man. And speaking of that, what has uh, been like the feedback uh, from the, the records or from the album since, since you released it? Um... The feedback for me is just been amazing. I've gotten amazing feedback from, you know, everyone who's listened and supported the project. Um and in all in all actuality, um, I have people that tells me, hey, I, I listen to this uh, quite often and you know, this is what I feel and and, and, and that gives me the most joy. Um 
because I understand with this just being my first project, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes as far as like promotion and marketing and, and all of that. But thank God that the people that have supported, they they thoroughly enjoy the project. Well, the fact that you're a minister, this one thing about that, when uh, being able to put it on a record with music, this, that, and other, um, you're able to reach a, a larger audience. And even as a ministry, you're not going in there uh, trying to get rich. That's not exactly. your your goal is, is to get the message out there. So the fact that you're, you're getting the message out there in this particular way, it, to me, that's a dope thing. That's, and whatever comes from it, uh, like financially, is a blessing regardless that's just icing on the cake you know what i mean so right, right. you know so so it's just dope man i'm glad you was able to accomplish that as a as a pastor as an artist because you still was able to get involved in, in what you your one of your first loves man you know what i mean yeah. so that's just dope yeah. to be able to yeah. put it together man yeah you and know shout out to you for hopping on the project too man that verse blessed me and I want to thank you personally while we on this on this on the Wild Fam radio show. I wanted to <laughs> on the salute the grind, I wanted to say, <laughs> man, appreciate that verse. It was on time. Man, hey, I appreciate the opportunity, man. You know what I'm talking about? My son loves the song. He wants to always hit never change when we're in the in the uh, vehicle. And so hey. It's a blessing, man. You know what I mean? So that's what's happening. And uh, I know we're going to have to wrap the interview up soon. I try to keep it around that 10 to 15 minutes, but we're still going to get some uh, questions about the apparel, man. Tell the people about the faith over fear apparel. Oh, How did man. that even get started, man? Uh, oh, man? What gave you the idea about that? I was sitting at work one day. Um, one of my coworkers, she was coloring the shark. And um, she, the same shark that you see on the shirts and the apparel, she was coloring the shark. And um, I looked at it and I said, that's nice. And she said, here, you want it? I said, yeah, sure. And this was back in 2018. And um, I was like, you know, months went by and I was like, you know what? That'll look great on the shirt. Hmm. So the idea, you know, was birthed through that but it didn't actually come into uh, fruition until uh, 4th of July. Um, last year is when I uh, officially opened uh, my Shopify store. So uh, this 4th of July would be one full year uh, that um, Fearless the brand has um, been in business. Man, that's, that's, what, that's what's up. One year. Happy anniversary. Almost, almost that time then. You know what I mean? Yeah. So salute. Yeah. So um, for the people that want to get the album and get the apparel, how would they contact you to get that? Um, you can go to fearless-the-brand.myshopify.com. Uh, uh, you can go there, get all of the apparel. And if you can't remember that, I know that's kind of a tongue twister. You can find me. Desmond Rose on Facebook, or you can go to Fearless the Brand 2 on Facebook and get your orders. Same for the music. If you want the music, you can inbox me. And I do have physical copies for y'all old school like myself. Still like Mom CD. So um, and you can find uh Faith Over Fear, the priest and producer on all platforms. That's what's up. That's what's up. Another thing, man, have you done any or is there any live events that's coming up um, surrounding the, the brand or the music? Are you planning on going anywhere doing events circulating, um, well, spotlighting either one of these? Um, right now, I'm open. So um, just whenever opportunities come my way, of course, I will be available. Um, you can uh, hit me up for booking too. Um, I will be available. But right now, I don't have nothing uh, set in stone. Okay. Oh, good. Well, for, um, I guess, any final shout outs or anything that you might want to give to the people, uh, let them know anything that's on you. Um, Floor is yours. I want to shout out um, my brothers, Keith Kataz McGee, Eric Ecclesi, the King Hendricks, 
Can't forget about my boy Keenan Pryor, Hub City Customs. Y'all go check that boy out for all your Palmer's gear. And last but not least, my brother DJ Baby Boy. And remember that God loves you no matter what. You can overcome anything. That's what's up, man. Salute, salute, salute. Appreciate you, brother, always. It's always good to see you elevating. And, hey, I'm looking for great things in the future for you, man. Keep pushing yes, forward. Sir. And, hey, I salute the grind. Yes, sir. You know? yes, sir. Uh, all right, we're up out of here, man. This is another episode of Salute the Grind, man. Hope y'all enjoy, man. Y'all make sure y'all look them up, look them up, look them up. Get some of that gear, man. Faith over fear, bro. You know what I'm talking about? The shark eating fear. Huh? You see yes, that? Yes, sir. That's Gotta it. eat that fear, man. You can't let fear overcome you. All right? We up out of here. Yes, sir.